Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa was present. The meeting reviewed the latest developments and the general situation in the region. His Majesty the King praised the role of the BDF Commander in Chief and officers in the General Command and lauded their keenness on the BDF support of the noble efforts during the humanitarian relief operation in Afghanistan in cooperation with allies and international partners based on the kingdom's commitment to international solidarity. His Majesty affirmed the importance of endeavoring to bolster the development of Afghanistan and to support it globally in which the country and its people's security and stability and that peace and prosperity prevail across the world. His Majesty the King thanked all BDF officers, non-commissioned officers and staff for their loyalty and dedication to perform their patriotic duties with courage and sincere determination in defense of Bahrain and the security of its honorable citizens. His Majesty wished the BDF staff further success in their duties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadibiya Palace. The cabinet also expressed its gratitude and appreciation to citizens and residents for the excellent uptake of the COVID-19 booster shots. The cabinet also noted that the successful vaccination of 80% of those 40 years and older with the booster shot reflects the people of Bahrain's sense of social responsibility to mark the start of the new academic year. The cabinet wished all students and educational institutions a year full of achievements, excellence and success. The cabinet urged educational institutions to adhere to all the precautionary measures intended to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and protect public health. The cabinet condemned the two terrorist bombings that took place in the vicinity of Kabul airport in Afghanistan and expressed its condolences to the victims' families and wished the injured a speedy recovery. The cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums, a memorandum by the Government Executive Committee concerning the formulation of legislation that strengthens the rule of law, safeguards rights and supports development. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance regarding the approval of the list of projects financed by private contributions through cooperation with the private sector and the proposed criteria for including projects on the list. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance on the draft of the government report for the fourth review of the trade policy of Bahrain at the World Trade Organization. This confirms Bahrain's compliance with the rules, regulations and commitments under the multilateral agreements of the organization. A memorandum by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments regarding initiatives to further strengthen the appeal for justice for the years 2021-2025, which is based on several pillars, including unifying the directions of verdicts, achieving justice and the rule of law with multiple tools. The memorandum by the Minister of Information Affairs regarding the technical projects of the Ministry of Information Affairs within the Government Action Plan 2019-2022, which includes the implementation of 19 technical projects to develop radio and television broadcasting and to modernize the media sector's infrastructure. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topic. 
The cabinet took note of the ministerial reports on the outcomes of the visit of Tunisia and Germany and the foreign visits of the ministers. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Ambassador of Egypt to Bahrain, Yasser Shaban, at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness underlined the commitment of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and President Abdel Fattah al Sisi to deepen bilateral cooperation, welcoming the contribution made by Egyptian residents to Bahrain's development and underlining Egypt's role in cementing regional stability. His Royal Highness was then presented with a formal invitation to visit Egypt on behalf of the Egyptian Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli. Greetings were exchanged between His Royal Highness and the Egyptian Prime Minister. For his part, the ambassador expresses appreciation for His Royal Highness's support for bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Minister of State for External Affairs in India, Shuri Murali Dran, at Rifa Palace as part of his visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of bilateral relations, particularly with an economic cooperation and investment underpinned by the historical relationship between the two countries. He stressed the importance of continuing to explore further opportunities for cooperation, reflecting the vision and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness received the greeting of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, conveyed by the Minister and in response offered greetings to the Prime Minister. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of furthering bilateral trade, encouraging two-way investment to achieve economic growth and prosperity for both countries. His Royal Highness noted the cooperation and coordination between the two countries in responding to COVID-19, as well as the valuable contributions the Indian community make to Bahrain's development, a contribution that is greatly appreciated. Regional and international topics of common interest were reviewed and His Royal Highness commended the role played by India alongside others in enhancing regional security and stability. For his part, the minister expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and expresses appreciation for his continued support in furthering Bahraini-Indian relations. The meeting was also attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the Saudi Junior Volleyball Team the champion of the sixth edition of the Gulf Teams Championship after its victory over the National Junior Team in the final match, which was held yesterday at the Bahrain Volleyball Association Hall. The match was attended by the Vice President of the General Sports Authority Council, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the CEO of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, the, Security, the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan Al Nusf, and the President of Bahrain Volleyball Association, Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, as well as members of the association. His Highness expressed his pleasure in the great levels witnessed in the final match, stressing that this was reflected in the success of the championship. He congratulated the chairman and members of the board of directors of the Saudi Volleyball Federation on the occasion, praising the great performance of Bahraini teams throughout the championship wishing them luck in future participations. His Highness commended the great efforts made by the Bahrain Volleyball Association presided over by Sheikh Hadi bin Mohammed in hosting and organizing the championship in cooperation with the GCC Volleyball Organization Committee.
The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, hailed the approval of the cabinet headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the strategic initiatives to further strengthen the appeal for justice for the years 2021-2025. The Minister of Justice stated that these strategic initiatives come in light of the approach of development and modernization in all fields, which was planned and directed by His Majesty the King and which was adopted and submitted by the Coordination Committee in 2017 in all procedural, technical and training systems related to justice. The minister noted that these strategic initiatives will be implemented over a period of five years and are based on basic and comprehensive pillars aimed at developing the legal and judicial work environment and enhancing justice in the kingdom. He added that the continuous work in the justice sector as well as the consultation exchange of opinion that took place on, on the pillars of these initiatives among many ministries has led to their development into the prosperous or the uh, proposed form and then their submission for approval by the cabinet. Justice Minister affirmed his aspirations towards strengthening formal and informal mechanisms and making them more effective in settling disputes by adopting multiple procedural paths and establishing and uh, disseminating stable legal principles related to the affairs of the economy, society, family, individuals and other various aspects of life. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Center for Strategic International Energy Center, Dirasat, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, during a press conference announced that the, two, the center will host two intellectual summits, the 2021 Middle East and North Africa MENA Think Tank Summit and the Global Think Tank Summit in partnership with the Think Tank and Civil Societies programs of the Lauder Institute at the University of Pennsylvania from the 6th to the 7th of December 2021. Sheikh Dr. Abdullah stated that the uh, MENA Think Tank Summit Summit is titled Think Tanks Under Regional Transformations, Opportunities and Challenges, while the Global Think Tank Summit is titled The Role of Think Tanks Towers Crisis Adaptation and Recovery. Both summits will, be, will see the participation of policymakers, donors, researchers and global uh, think tank directors with think tanks uh, representing compelling examples for the substantial work performed by research and polling organizations in a series of political and economic contexts. Sheikh Dr. Abdullah affirmed the significance of think tank roles in supporting peace policies, serving sustainable development and the effective role of civil societies as well as coordinating and exchanging expertise to face shared challenges by attracting intellectual and organizational know-how with a mature vision on developing entities and leading local communities on the academic, media or executive levels. The Kingdom of Bahrain has condemned the terrorist attacks carried out by the Houthi militia on Abha International Airport in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In a statement, the Foreign Affairs Ministry strongly condemned the launch of two drones towers at a civilian airport, which represents a clear and explicit violation of international humanitarian law and all international norms commending the Saudi Air Defense Forces, which managed to intercept and destroy the two drones. The ministry affirmed the unequivocal position of Bahrain that strongly supports the efforts of Saudi Arabia and all that preserve its security and stability. It also extended its full support for the measures it is taking to confront the hostile acts and attempt carried out by the terrorist Houthi group on Saudi territory, calling on the international community to condemn and denounce such terrorist attacks that target civilian installations and ob objects in Saudi Arabia. The Arab Observatory for Human Rights of the Arab Parliament during the meeting of its Board of Trustees in Cairo praised the tireless efforts made by Bahrain and its keenness to implement the provisions of the Children's Restorative Justice Law in line with the highest international human rights standards. The Arab Observatory for Human Rights noted the honorable human rights record of uh, the kingdom in protecting the rights of children and providing them with health, education, social and psychological support. The Arab Observatory for Human Rights affirmed that with uh, this important legislative achievement. Bahrain has strengthened its global leadership in this field, its eligibility for a membership in the Human Rights Council and the Committee on the Rights of the Child and its classification among the countries with high human development according to the report of the United Nations Development Program for the year 2020. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,145,386 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,087,473 had taken the second, and 252,605 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 974 with 86 recoveries and 112 registered new cases. 46 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 49 are contacts of active cases and 17 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.